welcome Mr. Saina Chetty. He's Director of Human Resources at the Siddhartha Goa. We've selected the hospitality industry because it's the largest and one of the oldest industries of Goa, but some of what he says will be cross-section to other industries as well. So Mr. Saina Chetty is a graduate from the Mangalore University with a BCom. He's done his post-graduation in Human Resources, Personal Management and Industrial Relationships from the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Mumbai. He has over 28 years of experience in various hospitality countries in Goa as well as outside of Goa. He's worked with Choice Hotels International. He's worked with the Sterling Hotels Resorts India Limited, Mahindra, Ho Mahindra Holidays Resorts, the Ramada Karavala Beach Resort in Goa, the Radisson Blue uh, Beach Resort, and currently with the Siddhartha Goa for over seven years now. Please put your hands together to welcome Mr. Saina Shetty. The hospitality uh, industry, I work all along in the hospitality sector, and I know uh, this is one of the sector that uh, has a lot of issues with uh, employing women. Um, first of all, uh, as uh, Ms. Nila Mohan uh, very uh, rightly said, that uh, there needs to be a mindset change. Uh, you know, I think I think it is a lot to do with the society uh, when we look at uh, workplaces or any other area that women uh, wants to venture into because they're the first thing that society does is you know pull her down or you know say no no that's not for you that's not for women that's only for men so um, i think a society as a whole uh, we need to encourage women uh, i i want to say uh, as it is made out it is not all that uh, bad in the industry or organizations, uh, I like to differ in certain aspects. Uh, wherein uh, uh, my colleague also mentioned that sometimes it is very difficult to, uh, you know, judge who is right, who is wrong. Uh, there can be instances where you know complaints can be raised deliberately to malign, you know, the colleagues, male colleagues. These kind of uh, instances do. Uh, come to life. We have seen it happen. And uh, imagine uh, it is, uh, it's a stigma once, uh, you know, someone someone raises a complaint on a male colleague. Nevertheless, they, uh, women have every right to raise a colleague. They must, we must encourage them. But supposing, you know, it is, it's not a correct uh, fact. And then that person has to go through all those uh, pain and then that stigma remains. But anyway, that is one aspect of the uh, problem. Now, uh, um, I would only stick to the hospitality sector and what we do uh, to encourage women to come up uh, with, uh, if, they, if they encounter problems, how to address it, the redressal part of it. There, there are a lot of vulnerable areas. The hospitality sector is one of the major sectors in Goa. Uh, Goa being a tourist uh, destination and uh, Goa as a state uh, is very different as compared to other part of the country. I am, I have come to Goa about 25 years ago and I have seen it progress and change. Uh, one thing I have seen in Goa is very, uh, very happy to see that uh, women are more empowered here I would say as compared to other places, other states. But there are there are states uh, in our country where uh, women are not at all allowed to do anything. Where there is suppression to a very large extent, which doesn't come to the fore, which is not highlighted. Then even today, educated women are not allowed to take up jobs. So this is a very sad part of the uh, thing. But in Goa, I uh, I can say uh, what I have seen from my experience: women are. Uh, more empowered, they are more courageous, women are more engaged here, women are uh, bold, they take up and women are strong here I would say, which is a very good uh, uh, thing. I, my wife is a woman so I, I know also, Colleen has been a great friend and I know how Colleen, Colleen uh, works. So there are many women, uh, successful women who are in Goa, who are making it big, uh, even in the industry. Uh, Colleen would uh, agree with me, I think she has been part of the marriage group. Uh, uh, also the hospitality industry, that today we have uh, many, many uh, groups, international chains included. 
the Marriott, the Hecor, Hilton, Hyatt, you name it. And uh, there are standalone properties, uh, for example, Siraj Goa, which is one of the very well uh, renowned uh, hotels in Goa. And it is led by one of the lady uh, directors, Mrs. Anju Timlo. And uh, so we always see, I always uh, talk when the new employees, when we recruit. Uh, uh, there, is, there, is, there is a lot of focus you know, for us to increase gender diversity. So what happens is in the hotel industry, uh, as a recruiter, when we uh, meet people, interview candidates, uh, uh, there are also restrictions. Uh, Girls or women, they come up with uh, conditions, you know, we can only work with so and so time, so and so time, we can only work this, we can only do this. I don't know now, uh, uh, this is probably because they feel uh, that they cannot work in this sector or there is a preconceived notion or the industry has created. A uh, lot of people, I, I'm sure many of you must be thinking that working in hotel industry is uh, Know, still considered taboo for uh, women. Do you agree with me? Yes. I think uh, I think it is there to large extent. From uh, what I experience when I uh, when I talk to people or parents, I have come across these kind of uh, issues. So uh, we need to create awareness, as uh, Mrs. Neela Mohan and uh, said. All of us agree that we need to create more and more, more and more awareness about this prevention of sexual harassment attack. And how do we do it? Who should do it? That is the question. So it is easy to blame, you know, it's easy to blame others, the other part. But as uh, Mrs. Mohan said, women need to stand, stand up and raise a voice. So that can happen only when there is more number of people joining the organization. So as organizations, our job is to create awareness, create a conducive atmosphere, create a workplace that is safer, create such uh, jobs and create such uh, uh, you know, uh, office spaces that women feel safe to work. So uh, I think uh, there's a lot can be done with the uh, human resource professionals, the uh, people who people who run the businesses today because um, hotel industry is also more vulnerable in the sense uh, it is not, not like any uh, factory or uh, any other organization, any other company. Now, uh, as large hotels, hotels uh, in excess of 200, 300 rooms do employ more than 500, 600 people or 400 people. In our own hotel, we have more than 400, 500 people. So how many of them are women? The percentage of women to men ratio is very, 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 very small. So um, the need of the hour is to increase the gender diversity, increase the percentage of women working in your organization, encourage more and more people to join, take up areas. You know, uh, we as uh, now uh, the Siddhartha is uh, part of the Taj group of hotels. So there is a, a very clear cut. Uh, focus that uh, gender diversity needs to increase. So we are consistently working on increasing the gender diversity and attracting more female colleagues to join our organization. In fact, uh, uh, some of you may not even think, there are areas where uh, we think women can also work like engineering department. Uh, many, many women don't take up in, uh, as engineers. So our company has gone out and, uh, you know, to universities and hire only engineers, female engineers, of course not here in Goa but in uh, some of the other areas. So these are some of the initiatives. We, have, we are thinking of uh, uh, you know, creating a hotel purely run with all female colleagues. You know, these kind of our thought process, our uh, thinking has to change. Um, men, uh, I think, generally have this tendency to, to be biased sometimes towards uh, women. As when the moment the complaint is raised, you know, um, for that matter, even female colleagues have this sometimes, you know. No, no, she is like that only. She has this habit of raising complaints. So, um, for the question, like, there are when there are complaints, there is going to be um, 
you know, publicity, whether bad or good publicity, we can't help it. Uh, for that matter, if a case comes up in the court, uh, it is going to be publicized. Now, anything is filed before the police or anything, uh, it is supposed to be publicized. You know, newspapers, today media is all over. So there is nothing that you can hide today. And um, so, uh, in hotels, how do we how do we address this uh, problem of sexual harassment? So I want to touch upon uh, uh, very briefly on these these areas. I think we must need one is majorly uh, uh, awareness. The awareness is not only about uh, it. It is not enough. We just form an internal complaint committee and uh, just put it on the paper. It has to be. Uh, it has to be reiterated from time to time. What we do is, uh, uh, we, as a part of the induction, we have something known as Taj Swagat when uh, new employees join our organization. As a part of induction itself, we have a presentation on uh, prevention of sexual harassment. So, uh, by default, all employees of the organization must go through that program. So this must be a compulsory aspect for everybody. So I, I think uh, if every organization has this uh, as a process, that will help uh, uh, you know, creating awareness because the major problem uh, today is, is awareness. They don't know as the, uh, the lady rightly said, many people don't know what is internal committee, how it is to be addressed and what, what is the process of escalating how uh, how it will be concluded. Conclusion is another aspect. It's not enough just to raise a complaint and as I said, in inconclusive reports, then what? So, but I think by law, within 60 days, the internal committee is bound to submit a report to the management and then if there's nothing comes out, it has to be taken forward. So, uh, the intent has to be clear. So, we all need to, need to realize and understand that today, in today's work environment, we need to be more and more, more and more aware, more and more uh, uh, making our people, uh, you know, uh, aware of the fact that this is an important aspect that we need to know. Our employees need to know, sensitizing all the employees in the organization. It is, it is not easy to uh, tick the box uh, uh, thing that HR uh, does it. You know, okay, we, do, we did the program and that's done, that goes into somebody's file. That's not enough. Uh, being aware, you know, in the organization, uh, so uh, this can happen only through proper interaction, creating, uh, some of the uh, female colleagues may even feel uh, intimidated and threatened, you know, so therefore a lot of them don't come up. Uh, girls by nature in India, you know, they, if I make a complaint, what will happen? So, do they feel confident? Now, you may have an internal complaint committee, but have you created, you know, uh, that atmosphere for a female colleague to come up and boldly lodge her complaint? I think there probably uh, may not be, many all organizations are the same. Uh, we need to create that kind of a confidence for female colleagues to come up they should have the confidence that yes, in this organization, if I am working, I have, I can work safely. So that that aspect, it, it's a very very uh, important aspect, very critical. It takes time. It takes uh, uh, you need to you need to work. The HR colleagues need to work a lot on it. And uh, believe me, in the hotel industry, what happens is uh, most of these things are thrust upon human resources. And uh, we have different sections, you know, housekeeping is there, food production is there, food production is kitchen. Kitchen is another area where um, female colleagues are harassed or, you know, they feel harassed a lot of time because it's, uh, it's a very, uh, very hot area, very, very busy area, you know, and then the chefs shout loudly and talk. So I have seen, you know, uh, the uh, young hotel management graduates, girls, when they come for training, when we put them in the kitchen, they feel very uh, insecure. So you need to start from the beginning when uh, when they come for internship, when they come for jobs, create and you know make them uh, aware, sensitize them 
that no, this is a safe place to work. As I said, engineering, food production, there are some of the areas in, uh, girls feel safe to work, it's like admin administration department, maybe human resources, because it is back at the house only 9 to 6 and uh, accounts. But there are more major part of the hotel industry is uh, uh, works 24-7, be it housekeeping, be it front office, the reception, the food and beverage service, restaurant. Uh, the operation itself is uh, very different as compared to other offices or government jobs. Therefore, it is, uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of responsibility in creating awareness, creating such uh, workplaces where women and girls feel happy to work. Uh, uh, we want to attract more and more uh, girls to work in the hotel industry, which is which is one of the uh, today one of the largest industry employing uh, people. There are a lot of opportunities, you know, uh, but there are few takers. Very few are forthcoming to take up certain jobs. So, internal uh, committee is one of the aspect to address the uh, complaints. Apart from internal committees, I think also we need to do a lot of sensitization of the other colleagues. You know, as I said, uh, heads of departments, HR alone cannot drive this. Heads of department need to be sensitized. You need to con con uh, continuously talk to them, make them aware. Because what they all they need, a hotel is a very high pressure job. You know, uh, uh, you need to do things quickly. If there is a guest complaint, we need to address it very swiftly. And uh, all the time, people are you know under pressure. Back to back check in, check out. Sometimes it can go through a really hard time. And uh, so, uh, the, at these times, what happens is the department will forget everything. It uh, they start shouting, screaming, and then you know, <laughs> you know, then one complaints comes up. So sensitizing the HODs, uh, department heads is also very critical. And uh, I think these are the few things uh, uh, that we need to do. Uh, one is uh, creating me as a as a hotel, uh, We have a internal complaint committee. We also have something known as Tata Code of Conduct. Uh, wherein every every uh, employee needs to go through the data code of conduct and then sign off. So we have a separate uh, uh, separate box wherein uh, wherein uh, employees can write if there are sexual harassment complaints they can write discrete complaints and put it in those boxes that complaints will be taken and addressed separately apart from the internal complaints and that is one aspect of it. We have also something known as ethics helpline. You know, there's a direct uh, uh, help uh, hotline which where an employees can call up. It will be uh, confidential. It will be addressed directly to our corporate office. So there are various various methods and measures that we have put in place. Uh, I think uh, all uh, industries, if you if you work towards uh, creating these kind of processes and systems at the workplace, I think more and more employees we can attract. Uh, and make them feel uh, safer in the organization and uh, create a good workplace for women. Uh, we also have uh, now night shifts. You know, when, when, they, when they work on night shift, what do you do? You can't just let them go. We have pick up drops. If, if, a, if a lady uh, associate works beyond 8 o'clock, we have a system of dropping such lady associates to the house. So we make sure that these kind of things are measures are put in place. I think by and large, if you take care of these kind of measures, if you put in place these kind of measures in organization, we can female colleagues will feel safer, and more and more people can venture out and come out and work, which will be a good thing for the society and the industry as a whole. Uh, I think I have uh, spoken more than enough. Thank you for your time and thank you for patience. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll do it very brief. This Dipali Naik joined the government department in 1996 as sales tax officer and she's worked in Marka Vasco Ponda. In 2003, she was deputy director for animal husbandry. 
then assistant commissioner of excise then osd to chief electoral officer then she is the first lady additional collector then she has worked as chief officer marnaga municipal council <laughs> and presently she is the director for department of women and child and she has done extensive work even attending trainings outside goa dehradun she is the chairperson of goa hologram committee and as a woman she is excel at all her outdoor assignments and she believes women should support each other and become self dependent thank you presenting is dipali uh, it was excellent session when nila mohan and madam took up and she spoke everything whatever we wanted to talk to you about and even sir and other uh, our mediu who is being associated with our department for last many years and he has given explain very nicely only one thing i would like to point out that ladies in the organization please support ladies because i have seen they always don't support they support the employer or opposite party and they do all things please don't do that be big big support they should give and many times when reporting is done some things are kept hidden under this cover please don't do that be uh, free in your uh, reports and what whoever is having problem please visit our you even you can call 181 as a how you call when there is a police require 100 you can call 181 for human helpline uh, number and our team will be at your doorstep like 108 had problems are there you call 181 if you call we visit to the place of the victim and we take her and then we place before uh, osc one stop center and that all legal aid and uh, this is given there so what i would like to tell you justice should prevail no other thing all this we are doing is for justice thank you very much <laughs>